Welcome to this review of Email Marketing Demystified by Matthew Paulson. Let's dive right in. Three pages into the foreword, John McIntyre, also known as the autoresponder guy, makes an awesome comparison that I couldn't agree with more. He says, if marketing channels were cars, even the best social media and SEO campaigns would be like a Mercedes Benz. Fast and luxurious, but certainly not the best in their class. While email marketing would be a McLaren F1 or a Lamborghini Gallardo. Email marketing doesn't just beat everything else, it leaves them in the dust. Love it. In the first chapter, Matt makes one of the strongest arguments for using email marketing that I've ever read. And he mentions the following points. He says, it generates massive ROI and long-term results. Most customers want email from businesses. It outperforms social media. It's universal, resilient, and not a monopoly. Concluding with the statement of, when you invest in email marketing, you know that the medium won't be replaced by a bigger and better thing a few years from now. One question he poses is, if you think I hate email and pop-ups, why would I want to send email marketing messages to my audience? His response is priceless. In his opinion, someone who says I hate pop-ups and email marketing is really saying, I hate making money. He provides a lot of actionable advice on the types of forms you can create and how to test which ones are the most effective as well as elements to change and test for. Matt gives you action steps to complete at the end of each chapter. I think this is helpful for readers to take action and or get unstuck. Between some of the chapters, he shares case studies of businesses that he has either founded or worked with and ways that he's used email marketing to grow that business. I love hearing these examples because it gives me and you as the reader relatable ways that we can use email marketing for our businesses. In the second case study, he shares an example example of a software as a service creator who uses surveys to ask his website visitors what problems they have and what they're struggling with to create lead magnets for them based on their responses. This is great advice if you're unsure what those might be. He gives a great list of ways to grow your email list beyond creating lead magnets and leveraging your own blog or website traffic that are very intriguing. One of which is email swaps where you agree to promote another business through your list and they agree to promote yours to theirs. He gives detailed and descriptive examples of types of broadcast emails that can be sent, autoresponder emails that can be sent, and engagement emails that can be sent, along with scheduling ideas to properly space out how often those emails should be sent. These are great reminders of all the different ways that you can use email to communicate with your audience, provide value to them, and increase sales. In the wrap-up section of chapter four, he mentions how getting all of these different types of emails written can be overwhelming and feel like a big chore. But he makes an important point, and that is to take small steps by just writing one to two emails at a time. You can just write the first few and then add one or two to it every day or two. In chapter five, he discusses one of the most important parts of email marketing which is creating your customer avatar and trying to get inside the mind of the people that you're marketing to. Another book I read and reviewed called Email Persuasion by Ian Brody also goes into greater detail about creating your customer avatar, and I highly encourage you to check out that review in that book after this one. Matt states the importance of keeping the focus on your subscribers as much as possible and making your emails about them, not you. He emphasizes using you-based language because it will make your subscriber feel more like you're talking to them individually. One of the few small disagreements that I have with Matt in this book is in chapter five when he mentions using the PS occasionally in your emails. I think you should be using it at least nine and a half times out of 10, if not in every email. He discusses the importance of giving value to your subscribers more than asking for something from them. He shares fantastic information about different types of subject lines that you can use to stand out in the inbox. Matt also provides examples of his own emails for writing an announcement email, an affiliate marketing email, a content promotion email, and a feedback email. Then he gives a really helpful acronym to use as a framework for writing sales and marketing email copy. It's called ADA, A-I-D-A, which stands for Attention, Interest, Desire, Action. He provides a great list of best practices to follow when sending any email. He outlines six different categories of ways to monetize your mailing list, and he also has corresponding subcategories of additional ideas to monetize as well. Toward the end of the book, he talks about single and double opt-in subscribers and makes note that single opt-in mailing lists generally grow faster than double opt-in and says while they may have lower open rates and higher bounce rates, single opt-in mailing lists tend to have a higher total number of engaged subscribers. I don't agree with that. <laughs> I think double opt-in subscriber lists would have much better engagement than a single opt-in because it takes more work for the subscriber to sign up on the list. And furthermore, what's the point of having a big list if you have lower open rates with it? He provides some really helpful descriptions into SPF, DKIM, and DMARC verification and how applicable they might be to you based on your email marketing needs. He offers some helpful advice and tools to keep your email 
reputation strong by keeping your sending domain off blacklists and what you can do to avoid them, as well as how to handle it if your domain gets added to one. He shares a basic introduction to outbound marketing through cold emailing and other means to broaden the reader's understanding of how email can be used to generate business and discusses some great strategies for doing so. If this is something you're considering doing for your business, I would also highly encourage you to check out the cold email manifesto, which I also reviewed on this channel. It'll give you an in-depth course of action for using cold email to find new customers, especially in the business to business space. Overall, this is a very comprehensive resource that belongs in your library. It contains effective strategies, techniques, and advice to leverage both inbound and outbound email marketing for your business. I highly recommend it. Quick shout out to Martin, I hope I'm saying that right, for reminding me to read and review this book. It was an excellent recommendation, so thanks for that. If you'd like to check out reviews of the other two books I mentioned in this video, you can watch those here. That's it. I hope this book review will help you, and if it will, hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you have other books that you'd like me to review, and please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you want to get more email marketing videos like this. Have a great day.